Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. Microsoft have started to test the next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 version 21H2 rolling out later on this month in June 2022. And if you just head to those release notes, that will be with update KB5014668, which is the next optional C release bug fix update rolling out near the end of this month, as mentioned. And the insiders in the release preview channel are now testing that update with uh, Windows 11 build 22,000.776. And as many of you know, the release preview channel is your closest version and build of Windows you will get before that preview version rolls out to the stable version. Now, we are going to be getting four new features uh, in the next update, 5014.668. And just to mention the first three quickly, um, They've added IP address auditing for incoming Windows Remote Management Connections in Security Event 4262 and WinRM Event 91. They've also added a new server message block redirector. They've made the SMB client and SMB server Cypher Suite order configurable using PowerShell. And then the key highlight here is they are introducing search highlights in this next optional bug fix update rolling out later on this month. Now, um, I have posted on search highlights previously, but just to do a quick recap using uh, uh, the screenshot, and in case you are unaware, um, the search highlights will present notable and interesting moments of what's special about each day according to Microsoft, like holidays, anniversaries, and other educational moments in time, as in this example they are using Earth Day, both globally and in your region, and to see search highlights you just click on the search button in the taskbar and also for enterprise customers search highlights will also feature the latest updates from your organization and suggest people files and more and this um, according to microsoft in these latest release notes uh, is going to be on a controlled rollout and they mention here that search highlights will roll out to windows 11 customers over the next several weeks and they are taking a phased and measured approach Broad availability, uh, broad availability will occur in the coming months, so just be aware of that regarding the new search highlights feature. And by the way, this is already becoming more widely available over on Windows 10, where it is rolling out to a lot more Windows 10 users, the new search highlights feature. Now, just to go through some of those other bug fixes in case you're interested, um, just to make some mentions here, uh, they fixed an issue that might cause an upgrade to Windows 11 to fail that's the original release version 21h2 fixed an issue that displays japanese characters incorrectly in powershell uh, there was an issue that was affecting the cloud clipboard service and prevented syncing between machines after a period of inactivity that has been addressed also there was an issue that failed to hide the windows sandbox startup screen after sandbox uh, was starting to run that's also been fixed um, there was an issue that was uh, causing f uh, playback issues for some users of consecutive video clips to failing games that use DirectX 12. That has been fixed with this latest update. And also an issue that caused certain games to stop working if they uh, were using the X-Audio APR to play sound effects has also been fixed. Um, they fixed an issue that prevents Bluetooth from reconnecting to some audio devices after uh, you restart uh, your device. And then just a couple more. And uh, Microsoft says they fixed an issue that might cause Windows 11 to stop working when you install an application and there is no network connectivity. And the final two, um, this is one that I'm quite keen on and quite happy about. And basically what they're saying here, they've updated the start menu to display Windows PowerShell when you right click or use WinX as a keyboard shortcut and the start button after you have uninstalled Windows Terminal. So um, what they are saying here in a nutshell is, um, like, like me, I've uninstalled um, Windows Terminal. So if I right click on my start menu and I click on Windows Terminal, um, nothing happens. So what they are going to be doing now in this next update is they are going to be replacing Windows Terminal, if you have uninstalled it, like I have, with PowerShell. So I think that's going to be a nice handy option coming to that right click menu of the start menu button and then the final uh, fix worth mentioning is they've changed the name of the your phone app to phone link on the settings page and i will leave 
a link down below uh, to this um, these release notes if you are interested. And that's the next update, KB5014668, coming later on this month to the Windows 11 operating system. And that's the error, by the way, I get when I click on Windows Terminal um, as I have uninstalled it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.